Okay, I want to talk about one of the most powerful setups in day trading. Um, and we got it today in the chat room in OXGN. Um, now, this is a thinner stock. At the time I called this in the chat room today, um, I think it had only traded a hundred and something thousand shares, which is way below. If you look at the average volume, it has none. Um, it's way below something I would ever call, except for one exception. And that is every anytime you have a you know a low volume stock like this and then all of a sudden out of the blue you get 12 million shares excuse me in one day and then you get a lower volume pullback each day for a few days that's a really good setup for a possible second wave okay um, so that's the only time I'll call something that's that thin and I did it today in OXGN and let me switch to five minute candles and show you okay now as is typical of a thin stock they don't even really look like clean candles right it's just got no volume at all but what you do have is an early high of day right here. We get the arrow going here. This is the opening high um, about 10 minutes in, and then you get a little sell off, and then you get this tight base right here. This is exactly what you want to see. Now, this was not even on my watch list. Okay, I actually found this in real time just clicking around. Um, and I'll get these lines out of the way and pan out a little bit here and show you another really important element of this trade. Okay, there, I've switched to 15 minute candles. Another really important element of this trade, here's the high that it hit on that, uh, on that monster day a few, you know, four or five days ago on uh, 12 million shares. Okay, so here's the opening 15 minute candle the next day. Look, I put in a high right at the open. Here's the opening 15 minute candle the very next day. Um, actually, it did put in a high late in the morning on that day. Okay, it did a reversal, but then nothing. Then the following day, didn't break its early high and now the very next day which was today didn't break its early high so you did have the one now keep in mind this was only uh, this was the big day then the next day so this was only like the third day typically this little high of day break um, might give you a trade but you notice it wasn't in a tight base it sold off came up um, that has a better chance to fail but then you've got another early high established where it didn't break and then the perfect setup you've got an early high established but a very narrow range on the day Okay, and now you are one, two, three. This is in the fourth day after the monster move and a very tight. That's just almost the perfect setup. I'm clicking around and I saw a little volume spike in OXGN and I went ahead and called it right as it was at the high of the day. Let me switch to two minute candles to show it to you. Okay, this is actually how I found it. I looked at it, um, I saw the volume spike. It, it was on my unusual volume uh, ticker scanner and I saw that and when I saw that and I looked at the chart and, and saw everything it literally in like three seconds I saw everything that I just showed you one of my favorite setups so I went ahead and just called it long right there at 313 I said worst case stop 299 um, and look what happened right after that you had to be quick man but it was it went all the way to four that's a huge percentage gain see it gave it back at the end of the day we don't care we're day, tra day traders um, and that's a great setup and I'm actually uh, give you a little tip here. I'm actually watching OXBT. It's a little different. It's a little different as far as the daily, but you still had this crazy move from below two to whatever that was to almost uh, well to 1140. It looks like um, now the the daily setup is a little different. You know, you had a green day here, but notice OXBT. This is the important element that we've got going on here. This is the high of the big supposed to be a straight line but anyway that's the high of the big day look at the next day the opening 15 minute candle high the next day the next day and the next day you do not have an afternoon break of the early high since that uh, since that topped out um, you are getting some long bases so keep this one on a chart what we want to see preferably is something like OXGN a, a nice narrow range for the day and then an afternoon high of day break um, we should all get a big trade if that happens. Now, it may never happen with OXBT. It may never happen, but it is setting up perfectly for a big move one of these days. Um, anyway, uh, as far as the rest of the day, uh, it was a weird day, but uh, we had R. Brown, one of our all-stars, called LCC. If you saw the airlines today, they were crazy. But he called it down here um, at 2284 with a worst case stop, eight cents below, and it went all the way to uh, 2358. So 74 cent move in our favor. Um, I didn't have much else. He also called HOLX, uh, and it never stopped out for him, but I don't have the kind of patience. I don't trade the way he does. He called it right here. I'm pretty sure his stop was low of the day, and he did get a nice move at the end of the day. I'm not that kind of trader. I didn't take that one. Um, I don't have that kind of patience, but um, that was another nice call by him. 
Um, late in the day, I called a short in DHI, and it just did next to nothing. I called a short uh, up here, and I don't remember exactly, 1910, something like that, and it went down, big deal, to 1892. Um, it was just a little bit of a weird day, but I had a nice green day, um, in big part thanks to that OXGN. Um, you can see the SPY here gaps down, takes out the high of the day, a big volume push here, then takes out the low of the day, and then um, comes back and ends up right about where it opens. So when you look at the daily, um, you've just got this little plus sign or doji type candle, and we're still in this range up here. Um, you had a kind of weird action for a couple days there, but otherwise we're having narrow boring low range days and you know you got to work hard to find those high volume anomalies and find some trades i think we're doing a pretty good job at that so anyway i'll quit babbling we'll talk to you tomorrow